Hey there, my name is Ian Miller. Welcome back to the mailbag. Today we are gonna talk about a question that's been popping up a lot this winter and that involves the X30 and the X50 and which is a better bag for packing backcountry or avalanche gear. Um, right off the bat, I'll tell you that the X50 is going to be a better bag and that's simply because it's bigger, it has more space, uh, it's gonna make a, a lot more comfortable fit for your probe and shovel. And if you also wanna carry something like a snow saw um, or any other things like skins, uh, strap poles to the outside, it's just a bigger bag. So the weight's gonna be distributed over a bigger area, but more importantly, you're going to have more room. Now, unfortunately, most people want the X30 and I understand why, because it's more compact, smaller, agile, uh, you just feel in general it's going to be a lighter bag, but you are compacting uh, the amount of weight you're bringing into a smaller area and you're also trying to force a bunch of items that you need like your camera gear, like your avalanche gear, like your lunch, uh, maybe a headlight, all these other kinds of things you need. So the most important thing is probably the shovel and probe and I'm going to show you how that fits in an X30 uh, with a medium mirrorless core unit and I'm going to show you how it fits in the X50 with a large DSLR core unit. So we'll start with the X30. Now the first tip I'm going to show you is uh, instead of putting the blade in uh, like you would in most Avalanche uh, ready backpacks, you'll want to put it upside down. And I'll show you why right here because when you put the blade in this manner, you have a core unit which is a pretty uh, solid object you don't have the luxury of the bags uh, interior walls flexing or adjusting to whatever's in the front pocket you know when the shovel hits the back of the core unit it just stops there it doesn't doesn't compromise and fold inward to the bag so when you put something like a probe in if I feel right here probe kind of ends where the shovel uh, meets the, the bags I guess the outer wall here that's as far as the probe's gonna go down. So if I turn it, you can see here how high it is and the pocket actually goes down to here. So if I do this, I can just push it all the way down. So we'll just throw this in here like so. I have a probe which measures out to about 42 centimeters. The shovel blade and handle are about the same, just a little bit less. So you have to be really kind of mindful if you're putting all this into the X30. If your gear is bigger, you're probably gonna run into some problems. If it's smaller, obviously it's going to be easier. So I'm gonna put it at a little bit of an angle, just like this. And then I'll close it. Now you can see that it's right at the zipper track, so it is a bit of a tight fit. Ideally, you don't want your zipper to be that tight. It may or may not have looked like a struggle to, to close that zipper. The reality is you're gonna be putting a little bit of stress on the zipper, which you ideally do not want to do. But the other thing is, is that I'm in a controlled temperature room here, so it's not really a problem to do that. But if you are a couple hours in, the wind's blowing, the temperatures are cool, uh, you're tired, you don't have gloves on because you've been playing with your camera, that kind of thing, it's a real pain in the butt to deal with zippers in those situations if they're hard to close and you just don't need that uh, that burden or that waste of energy because you're trying to focus on other things so let's get this out of here and we're gonna throw it in the x50 so before we pop this out let's just take a mental note of where uh, the gear is actually sitting in the pocket here put the x50 down and we'll go through the same process So here you can see we have, I'm gonna guess about uh, six to eight CMs of, of space before the top of the zipper. So that is quite a bit of space. So you can see right away, it should be very clear uh, what's gonna be a better fit. You know, and again, if you're the type who's digging pits, which I'm sure a lot of you are, you know, you'll want that extra space to be able to carry a snow saw or something like that. You, then you'll also have access to these two pockets, which are really ideal for uh, tools like little multi-tool screwdrivers, uh, maybe a couple snack bars, just kind of stuff you want quick and easy access to, but you might not need to access all the time. One last thing before we go, speaking of a X50 and large DSLR core unit, that is the bag of choice for Team Shimoda Scott Surface. And this month we are launching our uh, Shimoda Signature Series t-shirts. This one just arrived. This is Scott's shirt. It's the first one we're gonna do. 
Here's a picture from Alaska, and uh, it's got Scott's signature here, and of course our logo. Uh, that'll be in our Teespring shop. I'll put the link uh, up here, or down in the description. And uh, you can pick one up if you're into that. And uh, thanks again, and we will see you next time. Take care.